Hey folks, and all be all here, and uh, we're back with a special video today. Um, this is a break from my usual GAC video. I'm making a, a video on uh, on ships, um, specifically the Radis. Uh, I think the Radis is a is a criminally underrated ship, and uh, I've been uh, using it for the last uh, couple of weeks to uh, beat the negotiator quite uh, um, consistently in my arena climb. And I wanted to share that with you guys um, just to uh, you know see if. Um, if you guys can also make use of this and maybe, uh, you know, uh, make this a more uh, regular counter to the negotiator. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, and, and discuss the, uh, the counter itself. Now, Radus versus Negotiator. Now, the Negotiator, um, as you all know, is a monster on defense. After more than a year and a half since it's been released, it's, uh, it's the best ship on offense and defense. And in Grand Arena, if you get tripped up on ships, it's most likely because of the Negotiator. Mirrors can get extremely ugly uh, unless you have a clear speed advantage, relic advantage, mirrors can get really ugly. Uh, Malevolence ships also get really low banners, especially with the ones which don't have Houndstooth or Fives. Uh, Malevolence fleet can get, uh, you know, in 50s uh, kind of banners if they one shot and there's a high chance of failure as well. Other counters are dicey as well unless the pilots are really relicked up. And with the negotiator these days, you get so many variations possible on defense. You can get the Y-Wing and Rex version, Y-Wing and Snips version. Um, and, and a couple of other options as well. So it, it gets uh, a little tough to try to plan for all of that. Radis, on the other hand, as I mentioned, is one of the best, uh, uh, most underrated ships. It's one of the best offensive fleets in GAC period. Um, it's got, uh, unlike uh, Malevolence and a few other fleets which uh, don't really have uh, protection recovery, uh, there's amazing banner recovery in Radis. Um, there's tons of uh, protection and health recovery, which is great for banners on offense, especially. Um, it's got a really powerful cleanse, which is something which, uh, you know, ships like Tarkin's fleet or, um, um, or the Malevolence or even uh, Fine Liza, they lack a really powerful cleanse. It's got tons of TM generation. Um, and in my opinion, it's got the best ultimate in the game. It's got an ultimate which spans across battles. Now, it's not just that particular battle, but the ultimate eradicates the enemy ship and makes the cleanup that much more easier. So definitely, in my opinion, hands down the best ultimate in the game. So now the question is, how do you use the Radis to uh, take care of the negotiator? I mean, there's there's been tons of videos out there for Radis, uh, you know, taking care of other ships like Malevolence, for example. It's uh, it's a pretty good counter against the Malevolence uh, if you play it right and use the cleanse properly, and uh, and and to a few other weaker fleets as well. But against the negotiator, there is a, a specific uh, comp that you can use to uh, to defeat this. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is if you want to take the Radis to beat the Negotiator, it needs to be a, a seven-star Radis because you need the cleanse and you need to have Relic Pilots. Uh, not Nothing too crazy, I mean, just the, the minimum requirements that you have for GL Ray. As long as you Relic the Pilots up to that level, um, I think uh, this counter should work. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, three main uh, uh, counter. So I'm going to be showcasing three main matches. The first one is the uh, the Jedi Knight Anakin, uh, BTL Wiving, and the Rex combination. This is something that you see quite a lot on uh, in in Arena, as well as in uh, in GAC. Uh, and it can get tricky because of all the protection recovery and uh, turn meter generation that Rex gives. Um, the next match that I'll showcase is the uh, instead of Rex, you'll have the uh, Ahsoka version, which also can get tricky because Ahsoka is, is extremely fast and she gets retribution out and uh, it can get a little, little tricky, this one as well. Um, and then the third match is, uh, you know, just a regular Fives Houndstooth version that you usually see in the arena during your climb. Um, just wanted to showcase Radus versus that particular fleet as well. So... Before we get into the videos itself, I wanted to talk about a little bit of about the general strategy and why this particular comp uh, really works. Um, so there's three main phases. There's the opening, the middle phase, and then the ending phase. In the opening, you need, uh, so the very first thing that you need in your starting three ships is you need two ships which are uh, faster than your uh, Jedi Knight, Anakin, and Negotiator. Um, typically at Relic level seven, they're at 189 speed. Um, so you need some someone who, uh, two ships which go really fast and which typically can also attack for, uh, attack well. Uh, the goal is to get Anakin's ship 
into uh, yellow or red to force the negotiator to go to do uh, unending loyalty and not do the uh, the master's days. Um, if the uh, sh if the negotiator does the master's days, then you have lost the battle. There's there's no recovery. So it's important for you to get two ships which are faster than the Jedi Knight Anakin and the negotiator fleet in order to force the Jedi Knight Anakin ship into yellow or red. That's the number one. You already have one resistance ship, which is Poe's ship, which is one of the fastest ships in the game at 203 or 204, depending on how you mod him. So that's a must in this particular lineup. Um, and that's going to probably go first in order to uh, land the first hit. The second uh, ship, um, if you've already got your uh, your, your uh, SLKR, then you've got a lot of uh, tie, uh, first order TIE fighters uh, relicked up as well. The silencer is a great option. Again, 204, 205, uh, typically at, at R7. Um, first order special forces type pilot is amazing and Imperial TIE fighter if, if you want to go with the um, with with an uh, Empire ship if you've got that faster than say 195 196 that's a good option as well uh, silencer has got tons of stuns um, first order special forces TIE fighter has got an assist and it's got an uh, ability to land ability block and Imperial TIE fighter because it's got all this uh, foresight it, it gives a lot of TM generation the third ship that you need is uh, is Houndstooth, and with Houndstooth, the the thing to remember over here is in the first ability, do not use the uh, taunt. Use the basic first because uh, you know typically your Anakin is going to go before your Houndstooth, and he's probably going to end up landing a few debuffs. Um, and you need to use the basic to dispel the debuffs. Number one. Number two, you need uh, uh, the wiving is go probably going to go after the hound's tooth. And if you land a, uh, the taunt with the hound's tooth, your wiving is going to go and dispel the taunt. And then the rest of your ships are going to be out in the open, and uh, you'll uh, the, the battle will end badly. Um, you can uh, avoid that if breach lands. So if you go with your hound's tooth and breach lands, then you know the wiving is not going to be able to dispel. But uh, why to take that chance? If, uh, you know, um, I. I don't want to uh, uh, base my counter on the on the off chance that brief lands. In case it does not land, you need a foolproof way. That's why use basic first, and only after the wiving has gone and used his uh, special ability to dispel the taunt, then do the uh, the uh, the taunt with uh, with the hounds too. So these couple of things are very important to keep in mind for the opening. After that mid battle, you need the very first reinforcement that you need to get is going to be Ray's Millennium Falcon. Do the wiggle first um, and uh, build up some stacks. And it's very important to use the AOE only after Jedi Knight Anakin has uh, unending loyalty has expired. Now, Ray's Millennium Falcon has got one of the most powerful AOEs in the game, and it doesn't matter how many taunts or tanks that uh, Jedi Knight Anakin is hiding behind. Um, it doesn't matter if he's in stealth. Um, all that matters is uh, Ray's Millennium Falcon has got decent amount of buffs and can use the AOE, but only use it after Jedi Knight Anakin's unending loyalty has expired. That's a very important point to keep in mind for the mid-battle. Uh, once you've used that and Jedi Knight Anakin's uh, 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 unending loyalty has expired and use the Ray's Millennium Falcon's AOE, in 90% of the cases, you're going to get rid of Jedi Knight Anakin. And after that, the battle is really easy to control because there's really no uh, damage dealing ships left in the uh, negotiator fleet. And you've got tons of control. Um, so then what you do is your next reinforcement, you get the other uh, resistance uh, fleet out, your res resistance X-Wing, and apply days on Houndstooth, ideally if Houndstooth is there, or any other tank if, uh, if they're there. Um, so that's the uh, order of operations for mid-battle. And you'll probably lose a sh ship or two. That's perfectly fine. You'll still be able to land a win. In fact, it's desirable that you at least lose one ship, which is the uh, the silencer or the first order special forces. Those are typically uh, you know uh, little weaker ships, and they tend to get taken out a uh, uh, little early. By, uh, and they tend to get, to get targeted by, uh, by both Anakin as well as Negotiator. So it's OK if you lose that ship, because that allows you to get uh, the, uh, the, si the sixth ship in which is going to be the reinforcement. So keep using your specials. That's important. Keep using your specials on your resistance uh, fleet whenever they have foresight. That will get you to your ultimate fast. And once Anakin's ship is gone, and once you reach your ultimate, then it's game over. Your sixth ship is going to come in. Um, you know, Hopefully, your, your, uh, one of your ships is going to die by then, because it's, it's going to be either your uh, silence or first order special forces type pad is going to die. You get your, slip, your sixth ship in. Uh, leave the last slot empty. You really don't need a seventh ship. But once a six ship comes in after the uh, the ultimate is done, then uh, it's a very easy job cleaning up and uh, and finishing off the rest of the uh, the fleet. Um, 
The, my favorite reinforcement as the sixth is Lando's Millennium Falcon because he's a great finisher. He takes tons of turns. Uh, he'll take two or three extra turns, uh, you know, once he comes in. So that gives you a chance to take away quite a few ships. He dispels debuffs on your own ship and he uh, dispels buffs at random on the enemy ship as well. So it's useful to take out that odd taunt if Houndstooth is still there. Useful to take out the breach if Houndstooth is still allow around. Um, another good ship is Xanadu Blood. It's got great synergy with the with your own Houndstooth. Um, Wedge is great as well. When he comes in, he applies a healing immunity and buff immunity. So if your uh, Houndstooth is still around with a taunt, uh, Wedge comes in and he can land a finishing blow uh, pretty easily. Even Hawk I like as well. It dispels all the debuffs on the enemy and allows you to target who you want. So there are a lot of good ships that you can use in the last slot as a finisher. Uh, it depends on what kind of ships you have uh, developed, but those are my recommendations. All right. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, enter the battle. Let me go and show you guys um, um, a few battles. I'm going to show you those three battles that I talked about. And then we can... Uh, hang on. Just make sure I have the battle lined up. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, show you guys uh, the battle. So the first one is going to be versus the uh, Jedi Knight Revan. A Jedi Knight, Anakin, um, Y-Wing, and Rex combination. Now, this is one fleet which gives uh, uh, a little bit of a problem just because of all the TM generation which happens. Uh, but this is the fleet which, against which I've got most consistent wins in uh, uh, in in my uh, fleet arena climb. Um, let me show you how it works. So, um, as as mentioned, you know you get to start first. Um, a, a first couple of turns, your po, my Poe is at, at about 205 speed, so he gets to go first, lands the uh, first hit on Jedi Knight Anakin, and you can see over here the special orders, uh, first order special TIE file, fi pilot goes next and uh, uses the special, calls an assist on, um, and then Poe assists with that, and with the special he's able to land an ability block, which is great because now Anakin is, uh, is, is ability block and his uh, AOE is delayed. Um, and then what happens is then these guys get targeted, but here you use the basic with your Houndstooth, very important, because um, because your uh, wiving hasn't gone yet to dispel uh, all the buffs. And then with your with, with the next ability, what I like to do over here is use my second special from uh, Radus onto Houndstooth, just to give him some extra turn meter, um, just to ensure that he goes immediately after wiving goes and is able to... Uh, to land uh, his taunt. So that's what I do. I use a second special on uh, Wiving, uh, on uh, Houndstooth. He gets a little bit of turn meter and you see once Wiving is gone, because uh, um, he's he does an AOE and attacks the enemy ships, Houndstooth now is now at full uh, turn meter almost immediately. He gets 50% turn meter from Radar special and then he gets a foot to full turn meter now once uh, Wiving is gone. Now it's safe to taunt. So now you can go ahead and start taunting. And you've landed the breach over here, which is great. Anakin does his AOE. It doesn't matter because you've got tenacity on uh, Houndstooth and nothing is going to be able to touch him. Um, and then uh, uh, you'll see over here the enemy Houndstooth comes in, tries to land a breach. Uh, but again, not able to land because you've got tenacity up, which is another important reason to use that special from Radus to give uh, Houndstooth tenacity up. Um, so that uh, buff immunity, healing immunity, breach, all that stuff doesn't land. Then I get in my Ray's Millennium Falcon, and over here, the important thing to note is you need to do your special over here. So do the special, get the stacks, and now you're just biding your time till uh, uh, Anakin uh, gets his unending loyalty out. Um, so, you know, he'll do a bunch of basics. They'll all start attacking Houndstooth, but, uh, you know, good, great thing is that Houndstooth has got tons of survivability. This actually was Kleso's idea. The, uh, the whole uh, counter was actually, uh, you know, we brainstormed a lot with Kleso and, Zar and Zareth and Solo Base and all that. And they helped me out with testing all this stuff as well. It was Kleso who recommended uh, Houndstooth in the starting lineup to ensure survivability, which I think was, uh, has worked wonders for this counter. So let's go ahead. So you keep doing this counter, and here you can see that the uh, the first ship is taken out, the Special Forces uh, tie, tie Fighter, but that's perfectly fine. I do the heal ability over here, and now you see that uh, Anakin's ship still has got unending loyalty. Um, that's uh, that's it's not the right time to do the AOE. So hold off on the AOE for now. Just do a basic on uh, on any other ships. And I try to make sure Anakin is not triggered. So I try to attack someone with full health and full protection. And now you see now Anakin's ship has got uh, no unending loyalty. Now it's safe to do the uh, the uh, the special. Uh, now Houndstooth is now uh, um, 
the post ship has come in and uh, plow ship has come in and done the um, um, the healing, but that really doesn't matter because you see the number of buffs which are on on uh, Ray's Millennium Falcon when it does the AOE, 150k AOE. So it doesn't matter how many taunts or uh, taunts that he's hiding behind or whether he has stealth, he always almost always gets taken out by by uh, Ray's Millennium Falcon. Now it's just a question of cleaning up the rest of the ships, which is uh, pretty simple to do. So I get in my Resistance Falcon over here and uh, uh, put a daze on uh, the Hound's Tooth and uh, then it's just a question of, uh, of cleaning up. Um, and uh, you can see over here there's tons of exposers being landing, landing over here because there's a lot of... Uh, lot of uh, target locks and every time uh, and now you've reached the ultimate and it's a pretty easy cleanup and over here the only ship that we've lost is uh, um, is the the special forces tie fighter so it's a 63 banner loss but you look at the banners over here apart from houndstooth who's losing a little bit of protection almost everyone else is at full health and full protection so this would have been uh, i think a 62 or 63 banner victory if it was uh, in gac so uh Pretty good outcome, 62 to 63 banner victory uh, using a non-get to ship against uh, a Grievous with Rex and Wiving, I think is a great outcome. Um, not always you'll get this kind of an outcome. Sometimes you might lose a couple of ships, sometimes three ships, but uh, the win is almost always consistent. All right, now let me go ahead and uh, show you guys uh, the next battle, which is going to be against uh, an Ahsoka. I'm just gonna fast forward this a little bit and make sure I have... Uh, Let's see. Um, all right. Yeah, I think this is the battle. Um, I've got tons of footage over here. I'll leave a link down below. It's 25 minutes of footage that I have of me climbing an arena with Radus versus Negotiator of all sorts of different comps. Um, this particular one that I'm going to showcase is uh, versus Rex. So I'll uh, make it go a little faster. So first is do a special on uh, Jedi Knight Anakin. Do the special with uh, your, your secondary fast ship. And uh, there's no ability block which landed over here, which is perfectly fine. You can see that uh, uh, Hound's Tooth has got buff immunity. Do the basic, cleanse that, and now do the uh, the taunt special on uh, the the turn meter special on Hound's Tooth. He gets the ability, uh, uh, he gets a turn immediately. Does the special and taunts after a wiving has had a chance to go. Then you do the AOE and you know continue as usual, and uh, he's going to get his plow in. In this particular case, plow came in first, which is which is uh, typically something which is done to uh, you know um, to thwart the uh, the malevolence counter typically enemies tend to keep uh, uh, nose clone sarge and they tend to keep plow and rex and uh, and uh, maybe uh, you know uh, 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 anakin or something like that to uh, plow or rex to basically try to get the uh, uh, plow forced in fast uh, and that tends to screw up with a lot of malevolence counter but that really doesn't matter over here at all plow has come in given a taunt over there uh, I get in my uh, Ray's Millennium Falcon, I do the special, and now I'm just waiting for Anakin's uh, unending loyalty to get done. And that's what I'm doing over here. Uh, you know, the taunt gets dispelled by Ahsoka, which is fine. Uh, you know, and they're targeting the other Special Forces type pilot, which, you know, typically is what happens. And in this case, you see over here, my Po is lost as well. Uh, but um, there's really not much of an issue, because as you'll see over here, it's still a victory. Um, I do the healing over here a little, little bit, and then uh, you see over here, there's no unending loyalty. So I do the AOE with my Ray's Million Falcon and Annie, Annie is taken out. Now it's just a question of, uh, you know, dealing with the rest of the ships. So I get my taunt up again, and now uh, I've got only one resistance ship on the board. I need to get another one so that I can get to Radis's ultimate fast. So I get my resistance X-Wing over here. Um, I do the special, I use a day's ability, dispel that taunt from there. And uh, now I'm just waiting for my ultimate to come. So now it's just a question of, uh, you know, um, waiting for the final ultimate to come. And these ships really don't have much damage once Anakin is gone. So I'm just, uh, you know, taking my time, um, making sure that I do the specials on the foresight. Uh, ultimate is still a little far away, but I'm, uh, you know, I just try to uh, hang on until that happens. There's a five ship which comes in. Um, all of that doesn't matter at all. I think I do an AOE over here, but you know it's not able to take any ship out, which is perfectly fine. Now I'm. Uh, uh, I think in the next ability is when I get my ultimate. And uh, there we go. So we got the ultimate over here. And in this particular case, I believe I uh, uh, came in with uh, 
with uh, Lando's Millennium Falcon, and you'll see the number of turns that he gets to take. One turn, two turn, and then third turn, and uh, and now the, the rest of our ships get to take a turn because uh, Radis's ultimate gives them 100% turn meter, so all of them get to go. Um, so in effect, three plus three, my team, my, my ships take about six turns, and if I had an extra ship, they would have taken seven turns before the enemy team even gets to go. So the Radis ultimate, and seven turns for your ships if you get uh, Lando's Millennium Falcon in there. And then it's a pretty easy job to uh, to clean up over here. So here you can see I'm just, uh, you know, taking care of the ships and then one AOE to uh, finally take care of the uh, the final battle. All right, now I'm going to show you the, uh, the final battle over here, which is going to be, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, which is going to be a, yep, uh, it's going to be versus a regular arena fleet, which is going to be um, your um, uh, Houndstooth, your Anakin with Houndstooth and Fives. Now that kind of a comp is usually very easily taken out by the Malevolence. It's extremely easy when Fives is there to use your Malevolence against a Negotiator. Uh, but in case you don't have a Malevolence and you want to use your Radis to, to climb in the arena, uh, you can do this. In this particular lineup, you'll see I'm using the Silencer as my starting lineup instead of the first order uh, TIE Fighter. Um, Silencer is extremely fast as well, and it's got amazing control ability. It can land stuns uh, and control the battle extremely well. Um, and then over here, uh, you know, you can see over here, I did my taunt ability because there's no wiving to uh, to dispel me. So the first ability, I went ahead and used taunt. Managed to land breach as well, which is great. And now I'm just trying to, uh, you know, uh, use my silencer whenever I can, uh, especially if the enemy is over 50% turn meter. Uh, Clone Sarge comes in over here. Um, there's really not much of an issue. Um, now the first thing that I do is get in my Ray's Millennium Falcon and uh, do, the, uh, do the little wiggle over there. And then I'm just biding my time until, uh, uh, same strategy as last time, until Anakin's uh, unending loyalty gets done. I still, I keep the uh, the rest of the team alive. And Houndstooth is extremely important in keeping the team alive. And, and taunt on Houndstooth is extremely important, which is why you have to target the taunt at the really right time to make sure that he doesn't lose, lose it. Uh, now, uh, AOE is available, but I don't use it because uh, Anakin still has unending loyalty. I use the uh, the first order. I use cruise ship to uh, to control the battle with stuns, which is great. Do another taunt over here on a, on another ship because I'm trying to spread the breach around. No un no AOE here as well because unending loyalty is still there. Now Anakin gets to go and uh, the uh, AOE is uh, is possible in the next turn. Uh, you get the wiving over here as a reinforcement, and uh, unfortunately I lost my uh, my hound's tooth, but you can see over here I'm. Um, my, the rest of my resistance ships are still alive. So I get the next one in, which is going to be resistance X-Wing, and I dispel the taunt over there, apply days, and now my AOE is available, and then I use that and I take care of uh, Anakin ship right over there. And now it's extremely easy to uh, to get the rest of the ships out of the way because there's really very low damage for the, the rest of the ships. Um, you'll see over here, I keep using my specials, and uh, I use the silencer to control the battle whenever I can. Didn't land the stun there, but not not a big deal. Um, now I do the ultimate, and uh, because I lost one ship, I am able to get uh, my uh, my finisher ship over here, which is going to be Lando's Millennium Falcon again, and extremely easy to cl clean up with the ship. So that's one turn, turn number two, turn number three, and then each of my ships takes a turn. One One ship down. Special over here, I think. Another special. Two ships down, and before the enemy even gets to go, I um, I take out uh, a couple of their ships right away, and um, and then uh, you know just a matter of uh, making sure that I dispel the debuffs and uh, at the right time with Houndstooth, and uh, end the battle at the right time. And uh, both Resistance X-wing has got a a, 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 a dispel. Ability and uh, you know Lando's Millennium Falcon has also got the dispel ability, so you're able to you know control it and uh, and uh, take the, sh the Hound's Tooth out in case there is a there is a need for that. So those are the three battles, um, and not all. And let, let me make a big disclaimer over here: in not all the cases is the battle going to go as smoothly as this. In a lot of cases, the uh, negotiator might actually have the ultimate, uh, get the ultimate out, so you'll end up losing some banners over there. But in almost all the cases, I found out that. 
Um, I do get to use the Radis Ultimate as well. Um, and if you follow some of the steps that I've uh, I've talked about, you know, making sure Anakin is in yellow or red at the start, use Houndstooth Basic at the beginning, and hold Ray's uh, uh, AOE ability until the uh, um, until the um, um, until uh, uh, Jedi Knight Anakin has uh, lost his unending loyalty. If you follow a few of these steps, you'll at least be able to get to the uh, ultimate. If not, uh, you're able to take the enemy ship out. But I've had plenty of success with this particular lineup over the last uh, two weeks that I've used it to climb. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, in the description of the video, um, I'm going to leave a link to my, uh, my, my raw footage. I've got about 25 minutes of footage of me climbing against various uh, comps and with various degrees of success. Um, in some cases, things go well. In some cases, things don't go well. So you can get a full picture of how this counter generally works. So hopefully you found this uh, this uh, uh, video useful, and uh, you know hopefully you guys will get to use uh, your own radish fleets uh, more on offense. Uh, you know this this uh, particular counter really gives you the flexibility to keep both your get ships on defense, get two ships on defense, and use uh, other kind of counters to take uh, you know tricky tricky squads out. Um, so hopefully you found it useful. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments if you've got some uh, better thoughts on how to use the radars or other great counters that you can think of. Um, I will catch you guys uh, in Grand Arena in a, in a week's time. Take care and happy gaming.